King Dork tells the story of a socially unsuccessful, uh, he's, he's 14 when the book starts, a socially unsuccessful kid with uh, dreams of rock and roll grandeur and little musical ability. The name King Dork is a name he calls himself. He thinks of himself as the ultimate loser and, uh, and he's, he feels it's an injustice, but I think he's also kind of proud of it in a way because it's the one thing that he can know that he excels at is being the least popular person in the world. One thing that my high school experience did have in common with the Hillmont High School depicted in King Dork is it was a very terrible high school. Even if you were a really popular kid and had lots of friends and your high school was this seemingly a dream world, a paradise of, of teenagehood, I really believe that there's still some part of you that still kind of feels like you were the little girl crying in the corner. It was terrible and never taught anybody anything. My creative life started from rock and roll and rock and roll songs and songwriting. For Tom Henderson, as for a lot of people, it's a, it's a distancing mechanism from his actual reality because he can focus on the rock and roll uh, and it's, it's controllable. You know, rock and roll, which is where I started, is teenage music if it is anything. If it's not teenage music, it's nothing. It made sense that the kind of books I would write would be teenage books, teenage focus. I had this idea that I would that I would try to reward the reader with a joke every page to as a sort of a, a little perk for for the turning all those pages. I feel like I owe him something.